Welcome everyone to the core of self-improvement channel. In today's video, we'll dive deep into a transformative journey toward unlocking the true potential of self-control and emotional regulation. In a world filled with distractions and constant challenges, mastering self-control is the key to achieving a balanced and fulfilling life. Watch until the end to get all the juice from this orange. Awareness in self-control. Self-awareness entails the conscious recognition of our emotions, reactions, and tendencies in various situations. It involves the awareness of our emotional triggers, such as stress, frustration, or anxiety, that may lead to impulsive behavior. If we are able to notice and understand our emotional landscape, we can identify specific patterns of behavior that hinder our self-control. What are the pillars of awareness in self-control? 1. Emotional Recognition We have to pay attention to the range of emotions we experience, including both positive and negative feelings. Identifying how different emotions manifest in our body and mind, and acknowledging the impact they have on our decision-making process and how they affect our moods and behaviors. 2. Behavioral Analysis this involves reflecting on instances where we may have acted impulsively or lacked self-restraint, analyzing the circumstances that led to these reactions and considering the underlying factors contributing to such behaviors. This may involve recognizing habits, environments, or people that trigger impulsive responses. 3. Journaling Book We should consider maintaining a journal to record our emotional experiences and behavioral patterns regularly. Documenting our thoughts and feelings can provide valuable insights into our thought processes and help us notice recurring themes or triggers that challenge our self-control. 4. Seek feedback. We encourage open and honest feedback from trusted individuals who can provide an outside perspective on our behavior. We have to listen to their observations and insights as they can offer valuable feedback that may not be immediately apparent to us. It is important to seek feedback from others because they can see unconscious patterns and behavior that we personally are not able to see. To be able to control ourselves, we need to learn. Mindfulness and meditation for self-control. Let's dive into the benefits of it. Mindfulness involves being fully present and aware of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and surrounding environment without judgment. Meditation, on the other hand, is a deliberate practice that cultivates mindfulness and encourages a heightened state of awareness. If we integrate these into our routines, can enhance self-control by fostering a deeper understanding of our internal processes and promoting a calmer, more centered state of being and mindset. Mindful Awareness and Exercises to start, we have to dedicate specific moments throughout our day to observe our thoughts and emotions without attempting to change or suppress them. We have to practice mindfulness exercises such as mindful breathing, body scans, or mindful walking to anchor our attention to the present moment. We need to engage in these exercises regularly to cultivate a heightened sense of awareness and strengthen our ability to stay present even in challenging or stressful situations. Let's set aside dedicated time for meditation practices. First, we ideally have a quiet and comfortable environment. Then choose a meditation technique that suits our preferences, such as focused attention, meditation, loving-kindness meditation, or mindfulness-based stress reduction. Take time to find the meditation technique that suits you, because what suits me may not suit you. I personally love the focused attention meditation. If we choose to consistently practice meditation, can help us to develop a greater sense of inner calm and clarity, which can support our efforts to exercise self-control in various aspects of our life. To be in control is fundamental, knowing how to regulate our emotions. What does that involve? Emotional regulation consists of being able to recognize, understand, and effectively manage our emotions to adapt and respond appropriately to various circumstances. It consists of being aware of our emotional triggers, being able to recognize the physiological and psychological manifestations of different emotions, such as anger, 
frustration, or anxiety. Then use techniques to process or manage them in a healthy manner. Here are some techniques for emotional regulation. 1. Diaphragmatic breathing. Focus on breathing deeply into your abdomen, allowing it to rise and fall with each breath to promote relaxation and stress reduction. 2. 478 breathing. Regulate your breathing by inhaling for four counts, holding for seven counts, and exhaling for eight counts to promote relaxation and reduce anxiety. 3. Physical exercise. Engage in regular physical exercise to release endorphins and reduce stress hormones, thereby promoting a more balanced emotional state. Physical activity serves as a natural outlet for emotional tension and can help regulate mood enhance emotional resilience, and contribute to overall well-being. Another characteristic of self-control is building routines and habits. Establish consistent daily routines and healthy habits. Creating a structured schedule helps in reducing the reliance on willpower alone. We have to develop positive habits such as regular exercise, adequate sleep, and a balanced diet as they contribute to overall well-being and enhance our capacity for self-control. Stress management is essential for self-control. Why is implementing stress management techniques crucial to cope with pressure and challenges? Engaging in activities like physical exercise, hobbies, or relaxation techniques alleviates stress and prevents it from affecting our ability to maintain self-control. Chronic stress can deplete our emotional states and mental resources, making it harder to exercise self-control in challenging situations. Cognitive reframing. Let's practice cognitive reframing techniques to challenge negative thought patterns and promote a more adaptive and positive mindset. If we learn to reframe stressful situations and seek solutions or alternatives that will help to mitigate the impact of stress on our emotional well-being. Last but not least. Accountability and support. We need to surround ourselves with a supportive network of friends family, or mentors who encourage and hold us accountable for our actions. Share our goals with trusted individuals who can provide constructive feedback and motivation. Accountability helps in staying committed to our objectives and maintaining self-discipline. To recapitulate, if we incorporate these strategies into our daily lives, we can gradually enhance our self-control and strengthen our ability to make mindful, intentional choices that align with our long-term goals and values. Do you think we have missed something about self-control? Please comment down below if you know other characteristics of self-control that I have not mentioned in this video. Is there a subject that you want me talk about in self-improvement? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for joining us in this self-improvement journey. If you liked it, subscribe, comment, and share. Let's keep our family growing.